So, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters is a 1984 supernatural comedy film written by Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis and directed by Ivan Reitman. It stars Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Harold Ramis and Ernie Hudson as the titular Ghostbusters uh, who are a group of very strange supernatural scientists uh, who decide that they're going to start catching ghosts in New York. It also has supporting roles from Sigourney Weaver, Rick Moranis, Annie Potts and William Atherton. Now, this film was absolutely massive when it came out. It garnered critical acclaim all over the place. It was the second highest grossing film in 1984 and it is just such a great movie. And so for a movie that was such a critical success, obviously it was turned into a franchise. So there were sequels, there were spin-offs, there were animated TV shows, there were action figures, and of course there were video games. And the one that obviously we're going to be looking at is the 1985 port of Ghostbusters to the CPC 464 by Activision. So, let's grab your proton packs, don't cross the streams, and let's dive in. Okay, so we have ourselves a bit of a splash screen here right at the beginning. Oh my god, that was hideous tried to do some digitized voice speech um, that really didn't work um, but at least we've got the theme tune but we've got ourselves a bouncing ball so it's expecting us to sing along to it sounds nice though but no we're not gonna listen to this I don't think okay right Ghostbusters for professional paranormal investigations and eliminations, we're ready to believe you. To form a Ghostbusters franchise in your city, please state your name last first. Well, I'm just going to put in the name of the channel, so... Do you have an account? No. In that case, welcome to your new business as a franchise owner. The bank will advance you $10,000 for equipment. Use it wisely. Good luck. Okay, so ghost busting vehicle selection. Compact, 1963 hearse, station wagon, high performance. Okay, I've got 10 grand. Press space and car number to view car options. Press 1, 2, 3 or 4 to purchase. Okay, right, so let's have a look at these, shall we? So the compact, well, that's like a that's really bright blue against that orange. Uh, that's like a, what's that, a Volkswagen Beetle it looks like. Um, carries five items of cargo, top speed 75 miles an hour. Okay. Uh, the 1963 hearse is up next. Let's have a look at this for 48 grand. Sorry, for 4,800. Yeah, that's kind of what Ecto-1 is, I think. So, I mean, this is probably the one that I'm going to go for anyway. Um, carries nine items of cargo, top speed 90 miles an hour. Next, we'll look at the station wagon for six grand. I'm looking for something sort of, you know, mid to, well, not, not low price, but mid range. I mean, I've only got 10 grand, so half of that is five, and the hearse is about half that, so, right, whoops. The station wagon, that just looks very strange. It looks like somebody's flattened it. That is not worth six grand, and it's a hideous shade of blue as well. Carries 11 items of cargo, top speed 110 miles an hour. Okay. And then finally, we can't afford it, but we may as well have a look at it anyway. Uh, high performance for 15 grand. What even is that? I can't even make out what any of that is. Uh, carries seven items of cargo, top speed 160. Yeah, we're not going to go for that. We're going to go for the hearse because, you know, I'm a traditionalist. So, 48 grand for the 1963 hearse. 
um, PK energy detector, image intensifier, marshmallow sensor. Um, 52 grand left. I mean, do I need any of this? Use joysticks to control for, uh, forklift. One to three for more choices. Okay. So we're going to have one of those. We're going to have an image intensifier. Uh, I don't think we need a marshmallow sensor. If we're going up against Stay Path Marshmallow Man straight away, then I'm kind of quite worried. Traps are, are required, so we need some traps. Um, I might get two traps. Ghost vacuum. Yeah, go on in. Let's kick this car out. What else have we got here? Portable laser confinement system. Oh, that's like the containment unit back at HQ, but it's a portable one. Okay. Interesting. Well, I can't afford that anyway. I couldn't have afforded that to begin with anyway. So, right. We're going to... This is our... our, our equipped car now we've got the PKE sensor we've got a ghost vacuum we've got an image intensifier and we've got a couple of traps so let's right so here we are on the city map I'm guessing that flashing building is kind of where we want to get to um, now I have played this before a very long time ago back in late 80s early 90s um, Uh, I played it on my cousin's Commodore 64. I don't think I own this on the Amstrad myself. So, but this is reminding me of the C64 version. Aside from it's got distinctly Amstrad graphics. Um, those flickering lines are quite annoying though. Okay, we're pulling over. I didn't do that. Okay, we have a ghosty. So let's put the trap down. Um, I'm gonna put you there. I'm gonna put you there. Right, now what we have to do is try and coax this ghost into between the, uh, the, the particle beams here, the proton beams, which it probably won't do now, and then try and use the, the trap to catch it. It's not going to come near us now, is it? So we might have just wasted a trap here. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, wow, and that had a bit of a delay on it as well. And... Okay, that wasn't so successful. Uh, we have no... flashing buildings. Oh, there's one. Okay. Let's take a couple of ghosts out. Come on. I think we need to stop those ghosts also from converging on that building that says Zool on it. Else we're going to be in for a bad time. Um, okay. Here we are sucking up ghosts. You know, like that famous scene in the film. Uh, and there's nothing here. Okay. So why was that building flashing then? Okay, that ghost is being captured. This one's now flashing. Do I have to go all the way, sort of circle all the way round it? Bye, ghosty. Is our HQ shown on the map? 
because um, I dare say we've got to put these ghosts somewhere. Nope, no ghosts here either. Same building. Um, oh, I think that down there is GHQ. Let's see if we can head on back over that way and see if we can offload some ghosties. Uh, well, we've done something. Okay, that one is not affected by us driving over it. Unlike these other ghosties. Stop. Well, we've got some flicker there, haven't we? See if uh, we can catch any. I mean, why do we need, if we can just suck ghosts up like this, why do we need the proton packs and the traps? Because we could just get the vacuum cleaner out and suck it up. It's a quandary. No, once again, no ghost here. So what is going on then? Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, that's the Keymaster. That's still moving. But... I don't know what's going on. And I don't know why... Some of these buildings are flashing and some of them aren't. And why some of them have ghosts and some of them don't. I'm confused. Let's check this last one out and then... I'm just, quite frankly, I think I'm just gonna rein it in for my ghost-busting franchise. I think I'll leave it to the professionals. Yep, once again, there's no ghost here. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna leave it there, I think. Um, I don't quite know what's going on here. There's no ghosts where they say there's ghosts. So, I don't think that there's much of a threat here, to, quite frankly. It's all just uh, a load of baloney. So yeah, Ghostbusters, get out of town. Let's wrap this up. Right, well, I mentioned I played this before, but uh, I didn't like it then, and I really don't like it now. Um, yeah, it's still not great. Um, I don't quite know what it's trying to do, what it's aiming to do. It's trying to be a kind of, trying to have sort of upgradable things, um, but I mean, I, I really don't know. It's it's not made clear what it is you're supposed to do and what's going on. So you just spend all your time driving around sucking up ghosts for, I don't know, reasons? So, yeah, no idea. Um, but it's not great, is it? So, this one, I'm afraid, is going down the bottom of the pile, um, despite the Amstrad's attempt to recreate the scene tune. Um, yeah, it's, it's gonna go down the bottom of the pile. And to think that Amstrad Action scored this 59%. I mean, that's a bit optimistic. In my opinion, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pop it down. I'm gonna give it 20%. I think maybe for ambition of what it's trying to do, but failing miserably. Um, so yeah, sorry, Ghostbusters, but uh, your license has been revoked. So yeah. 
Ghostbusters on the Amstrad CPC 464. Um, that's pretty much what all the home versions were like, to be honest with you. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, whether or not you agree with me. Um, and I hope to see you for the next one. So until then, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.